I recently asked my followers on Instagram where my next photo adventure should be and they voted for the coast. So that's where I've come, but instead of opting for somewhere with big dramatic cliff faces, I've decided to go for somewhere quite featureless in comparison. And it's one of the largest tidal beaches in the world. And whilst this beach might be quite expansive and featureless in general, there are a couple of historical points of interest and that's what I'm here to photograph. And I want to see if it's possible to actually capture some of the story or the history behind these places. The SS Nornen is a Norwegian ship that was caught in a gale in the late 1800s in Bridgewater Bay here and it was uh, blown to pieces by the gale and driven up towards the mud and, and all the crew and their dog got rescued apparently. But coming here it's a really eerie scene and it looks a bit like some sort of beached whale or a creature with its ribs sticking up and there's a lot of history around it and the and the images that I capture in some way I hope to be able to capture some of that eeriness or the history around it. I've been walking around and I've tried a few different angles and positions but now I've decided on my composition. Uh, first of all I'm using some water runoff marks in the sand to lead into the front of the boat and the way that I've got the boat positioned in the frame it still looks reminiscent of a boat because I want to show the fact that it is a boat. Now conventionally if you're showing vehicles or people in an image you'd leave some space in front of them to give the impression that they're going somewhere or that there's a story to be told that they're heading somewhere. But because this is a stricken boat and it's not going anywhere anymore I wanted to leave the space behind it and that should give a sense that it has come from somewhere and uh, that's exactly the story that I want to tell in this image. The other thing to mention here, and it's quite a big thing, because the day is grey, if I take a picture that's evenly exposed, it's going to look quite dull, and I don't really want that. I want it to have some sort of interest. And what I've decided to do is go for a very minimal approach and extremely overexpose it, but that's just going to add to the eerie quality of the image, and that's exactly what I want to convey. So I've stuck around for a bit and I've taken a few extra photos to try and get something to the same effect and I can't really decide which is my favourite so I'll post them all up and you can have a look. So I might end up regretting doing such abstract shots of the shipwreck there but if you don't try something different you don't really develop um, so we'll see how, <laughs> how it looks when I get back on the computer. But. There's now some promise that the clouds might open up and there might be a bit of colour in the sky for sunset which is in about an hour and a half. So I've got to walk down the beach to another location. So I'm only about halfway to where I'm going to and the sun is setting in about a half an hour and uh, I think I just got held up too long at the shipwreck <laughs> but I'll see if I get there in time. So this is the low lighthouse of Burnham-on-Sea and it was built because when they built the main lighthouse they hadn't realised it wouldn't be visible from really low tides so that's why this one exists. 
Now the light is going and I quickly need to get it set up to some pools of water that I think I might capture some reflections in and then I'll take it from there. So the light's gone and I really was in a rush at the end here to try and get a picture of this place and I tried a couple of compositions. One where I was attempting to use the golden ratio and using a pool and the reflection of the lighthouse and leading into the lighthouse itself. Uh, it might have worked out. Another I've just uh, composed it dead on here um, with the lighthouse sort of in the bottom half of the image and uh, I think it looked quite nice on the back of the camera and I like the tones in it, so we'll see how that one turns out too. But uh, yeah, my sound recorder's been playing up today and so it's been a bit of a funny day and a challenging day, well out of my comfort zone for a lot of it. Um, my camera's filthy with mud and uh, I've got sand over everything. I don't know how I'm gonna clean anything, but um, I don't come to the coast and photograph things very often and it's been another learning experience and I've really enjoyed it. And what I've seen today with the SS Nornan and the lighthouse, their stories are kind of intertwined, but the Nornan just didn't stand a chance in the gales that it was facing. And, uh, and it's very humbling to see something like that in person. I've seen pictures of these places hundreds of times, but it's nice to come here and see them. And it's been an incredible uh, walk along this beach. And at its lowest tide, it can be uh, about a mile and a half out. And uh, that's pretty much what it's been here. I can't even see where the shoreline is exactly. And other times it comes right up here where I'm standing. And uh, it's just incredible to be here. But thanks everybody for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of me getting messy and trying something different. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and give this video a thumbs up please, it really does help. And for now, uh, thanks a lot and I'll see you soon.